right, family? Come on in. Come on in, family. Come on in, come on in, come on in. I'm excited. I did not tag anyone as I normally would. Um, I want to make sure that you guys come on in. Come on in. I'm waiting for a few people. I am on the road, but I do not want Bible study to end. Um, I had spent time ministering with a member of the church, um, and uh, it was much needed, much needed. And um, it is, I'm excited for uh, what God has to say tonight because I, I believe He truly desires and is in the need. Of, we're in the need of. of it, we're in need of healing. We're in need of uh, another level of of addressing. We're, we're in need of healing. We, our lives need healing. Hey, uh, Kia, good to see you. I'm, I'm trying to tag a few others, but I'm on the road, so I normally get the chat chance to tag the members to remind them, um, and I was unable. Um, so. I want to make sure I give a chance for people to come in. I want to make sure I give a chance for people to come in. Come on in, family. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. And we're going to get started. We're on Genesis chapter number three. Um, Genesis chapter three. Um, it's important that we address this. The, the message that I have tonight is still hiding. Some of us are hiding, hiding emotionally. We're hiding, hiding from who we really are, um, hiding under our degrees or hi hiding uh, behind our houses, hi hiding behind our cars, our, our success. We're hiding. Um, and the reason why we're hiding is because there's a part of us that's still not healed that we refuse to address. A part of us that, that, that needs to be healed that we refuse to open up about. Um, we're still in hiding uh, and it's important for us to address it's important for us to address um, I want you to know um, that it is time to come out of hiding it is time to come out of hiding I don't know if you can uh, put that in the comments um, I see a few people on here um, I put that in the comments it's time to come out of hiding time to come out of hiding it's important that we come out of hiding uh, it's important that we come out of hiding what do what do you mean by that uh, what, do you, what do you mean by that what do you mean by it's time to come out of hiding uh, so when we look at uh, Genesis chapter three, you'll you'll if you can recall the scripture, you'll see uh, between verses four and six that uh, Adam and Eve ate off the tree. The Bible says that she saw that it would make her wise. She stated that um, she saw that it was good for food, um, that it was pleasant to the eyes. Um, she ate the Bible says that she gave some to her husband when she when she ate and he ate uh, we know the story as a result of eating their eyes were opened you would think that it's a good thing that their eyes are opened we live in a culture um, that that proclaims themselves, self-proclaim themselves to be woke. This culture has proclaimed themselves to be woke, meaning that they understand a level of truth, um, which in uh, essence, in some ways, seems to be very, very innocent. 
um, and it has a ring to it and can even seem correct in some sense. However, what we do know is that many of the individuals that proclaim themselves to be woke in this era and in this generation, many of them, uh, excuse me, are the result of a culture that is uh, broke down in its political system, broke down in its morals. It's not a lot of honor in this generation, honor in this society, honor in this culture. Uh, faith, uh, stick to itness, tenacity, uh, those intangible things uh, that this generation lacks a lot, lacks a lot of respect. We proclaim ourselves to be an extremely loyal generation, yet. More than any other generation that I've ever heard about, this generation has uh, overstepped boundaries with family members, superiors, slept with best, best friends, girlfriend, or best friend's boyfriend, switch, doing the switcheroo and so forth. And so the, 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 there were what we would call uh, unwritten codes for brothers and sisters. And uh, these things are gone away in this particular generation although it seems as if although it seems as if this is a woke generation what what happens uh, when you're given information that really should not be given to you what what happens when you are given information that that really doesn't belong to you information that it uh, that should be classified in a way what happens is we mishandle the information misappropriate the information that's given to us and we end up in a worse situation than we were previously before what are you trying to say pastor mitchell what i'm trying to say is just like adam and eve when the scripture says and their eyes were open their eyes were open to a realm that they did not need to know about, which was the realm of evil. If you remember, the Bible declares in Genesis chapter 1 that when he created everything, it was good. It was good. He created man and he said, very good. And so here you have humans born into the realm of good born into a realm of good and very good God did not introduce them to the realm of evil God introduced them to the realm of good but Satan made it seem as if they were missing out on something uh, it's a little bit more of something you should know about uh, and you won't truly die from it but you'd be as God's Knowing both good and evil. And now look at us as a result of, 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 of eating from the place that we should not have eat from. We are introduced to evil. And now we have to, uh, uh, the, 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 the scripture says you'd be as gods, which means... We're trying to play God to determine what is good and what is evil. This is a Danish, dangerous generation that we are in because this generation has decided to come up and concoct ideas that suggest that uh, 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 killing is all right so long as you have a good reason for it. Pedophilia is all right because a person can't help who they love. Homosexuality and lesbianism is all right because uh, they can't help who they love. Some of which uh, decide to say they're born this way. Abortion is no longer killing a baby. It's having control over my body. When in all actuality, the Bible says, thou shalt not kill, but 
But that's what happened when we leave, watch this, right and wrong in the hands of individuals. They were never meant to play God. They were never meant to be God. But instead of addressing it the way that it should be addressed, watch this. Instead of admitting that we're wrong and we did things the wrong way, instead of admitting that we went down the wrong path, we hide. We hide our hurt that, are, that is the result of our bad decisions. We hide our hurt that is the result of, 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 of our bad decision making. We hide, we hide, we hide behind a few good successes. We hide. Now, I, I, I know I got some of Beth Mata family on here. I want you to stop what you're doing and do a quick three. Tag a quick three people. Uh, tag a quick three people and come back in. I want us to make sure that someone else is getting this word besides us. Normally, I typically am able to tag individuals, but I'm driving and was unable to tag individuals to remind them about Bible study, and I need your help. So please, let's take a moment and tag others in Bible study so that they can get this word as well. It is still a much needed word, very much needed word, very, very much needed word. I want you to be a part. I want you to be a part of helping me get this word out to those that need it. I want you to help me to be a part of getting this word out. We, family, are hiding. We're hiding behind some of us a shout. We're hiding behind. Oh Lord, help us. We're hiding behind a significant other. We're hiding behind a good job. Holding on to the fact that that because something in my life may seem to be going right, I don't have to address these issues that I put myself in. I don't have to address the catastrophes that I put myself in. Some of us are still hiding. You know the story about Adam and Eve. After they ate for the tree, they realized they were naked and they hid themselves. God in the garden went to look for them at the same time he always met with them, which is in the cool of the day, and he did not see them there. When he didn't see them there, the Bible says the voice of God went uh, walking through the cool of the garden. The voice of God walks through the cool of the garden, finds Adam and Eve hidden, and he says, why are you hiding? We hid ourselves because we were naked, Adam and Eve said. And he, he, he said, who told you you were naked. Who told you you were naked? Isn't it ironic that before uh, 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 they ate from the tree, they did not see from a fleshly perspective? It's ironic that before they before they decided to eat of the tree. They did not look at the lower perspective of nakedness. They saw something else beside nakedness. God had to tell them, who told you you were naked? And they were honest and they said, we ate from the tree. And some of us, some of us are naked today. And we're hiding. We don't want to, we don't want to be naked. We're hiding who we really are. The person that struggles with self-esteem. The person that struggles to understand their truly love. The person that struggles to understand that God truly loves them. The person that's truly struggling to know their purpose. The person that's truly struggling to know uh, 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 that they are somebody. The person that was molested. The person that was raped. The person uh, uh, that's really broken down because life has beat them up. The person that's hopeless. You're hiding. You're hiding. 
unwilling to truly to, 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 uh, unwilling to truly tell the truth about your nakedness. So you go and you try to get some fig leaves and cover up your nakedness when God is trying to tell you, I don't care what you tried to hide yourself with. The fact that your per your perception can see nakedness as shameful goes to show that you are not where I left you. Who told you that being honest about your hurt was a bad thing? Who told you that you always had to be thorough and tough it out? Who told you that being naked, who told you that being naked was a shameful thing? The perspectives, our perspectives, our perspectives, our perspectives are, are, are distorted, thwarted because of the fall. Instead of running to God, you run away from God. Adam and Eve could have ran toward God and said, Lord, what is this? I never saw my body in this fashion. What is this? But instead of running toward God, they ran and they hid themselves from God. A lot of you today, just like Adam and Eve, as a result of eating from the tree of knowledge and good and evil, uh, 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 you, you are naked and you are hiding your nakedness. You're hiding the hurt of your past. Yes, he hurt you. Yes, she hurt you. Yes, you thought you'd be further along. Yes, you thought that things would be better in your life than they were before. Yes, but instead of coming to God open about your failures, open about it, open about what you thought should be a certain way, we're hiding as if everything is all right as a result of the fall. We don't want to seem like we bit off more than we could chew. Adam and Eve bit off more than they could chew. But instead of being honest about it, and realizing their nakedness, they tried to hide themselves as if it would cover up the nakedness. When the nakedness didn't show because they didn't have any clothes on, the nakedness showed or the fact that they ate didn't show uh, because they had clothes on. The fact that they ate showed that they were different because when they ate, their perception about who they were changed. Who told you? Who? Some of us are allowing the enemy to speak to us, allowing the enemy to speak to our mind. We're eating off the tree. Uh, we're eating from the tree. Watch this. Of knowledge of good and evil. We're it, we were never intended to understand evil. We were never intended to understand that. We were never intended to indulge. We, it, it was a never God's intention for us to indulge in evil. But we indulge and we hide ourselves from God. We have indulged in pornography and now we're addicted and we hide ourselves from God. We indulged in sex and now we have a lust demon. We have a lust spirit that we fight on a daily basis. And guess what? Instead of instead of coming to God truly naked saying I struggle with this we're hiding we're hiding acting as if everything is okay some of us the enemy has spoken to our mind and we've indulged in his his sayings you're not good enough you're stupid you'll never be anything and we bought into his lies because we've sat with him and we heard his words and we ate from his tree and as a result of eating from it we don't see ourselves the same and instead of being honest with ourselves and saying that my, my, perspective, my perspective of myself have been distorted by the lies of the enemy we hide it we hide behind the fact that we have a car we hide behind the fact that we have uh, 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 watch this oh lord oh lord some of us we hide behind the fact that we have a nice body some of us, we hide behind the fact that we have, uh, 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 watch this, and I know some of y'all, y'all ain't going to hear this, but we had sex, and they said it was good. So I got something that I'm good for. So instead of dressing, oh my God, instead of addressing my real issues, I feel like I'm good for something, and I'll hold on to what I feel like I'm good at. And since I can hold on to what I feel like I'm good at, and it gives me some sense of important importance, I'll never address the true issues of the fact that I feel like I'm nobody. Who 
am I talking to? Who am I talking to? The enemy has lied to you. The enemy has attempted to lie to you. He has attempted to lie to you. And instead of addressing your issues, instead of addressing your problems, you hide it with alcohol. Instead of addressing your, 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 your problems, you, you hide it with marijuana. Instead of, and some of us, we go even deeper and it's crack and it's cocaine and it's, it's, it's PCP or it's heroin or it's e-pills. We don't, we don't want to truly address what it is that's the problem. So we hide behind something that can take us from our reality. Adam and Eve. God gave them instructions. They, God, God, God said, do not eat from the tree of knowledge of, of, of good and evil. Genesis chapter 3, verse 4, 5, and 6. Uh, 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 matter of fact, the whole chapter. But they thought that there was some wisdom beyond God's wisdom. She thought that it would make her wise. What has the enemy persuaded you is good for food? What has the enemy persuaded you? It's good for food. That's really not good for you. The, the, the Bible says that the, the enemy persuaded her that it was, it was good for food. That it would make her wise. That it would open up her eyes. And she ate and then she gave some to her husband. And he ate. And I know some women are on here. But some of you are Adams too. Some of you. Woo. Some of you are, are, are just like Adam. You didn't want to eat it first. So you put other people on the front line to test it out. And after they test it out, it seemed to be okay. So you ate too. Some of us are not victims. We're suspects. We're suspects. Putting individuals on the front line. Allowing them. Oh my God. Allowing them to, 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 to test out whether or not a, a sin is truly good. Girl, you tried. You go. I go. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Looking for, looking for someone to appease them. Looking for someone to make them feel okay in their foolishness. Matter of fact, I don't just want you to feel like I'm okay. I want you to indulge in it first. I want you to do it first. And some of you, your consequence is greater because God didn't tell the other person. He told you not to touch it. There's some Adams, some, some Eves. But we need to stop hiding. We need to come out. We need to come clean and say, yep, I was disrespectful to my parents because I thought that I knew a better way to be able to do things. And I realize now that I made shipwreck of my life. And instead of me hiding behind the fact that guys think I'm cute and I and, 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 uh, guys, uh, hide behind. Don't you know they were trying to hide? Adam and Eve was trying to hide. They were hide, they were they were hiding behind the fact that their perspective had changed from spirit. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but you truly knew you, you, you need to you need to have some moments with God where you get naked with him. See, this, 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 this is the, 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 the problem right here. Some people immediately went to the physical. And you can tell that that's the result of the fall. Because as soon as they ate from the tree, they looked at their body. They looked at the physical realm. When there is a realm that goes beyond the physical realm, that is the place that we need healing. It's the place that we need to get back to. Some of you need to get naked with God and say, Lord, here I am. I fail. I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling. I'm struggling in my mind. I'm struggling to believe I should be alive. I'm struggling to believe I'm loved. I'm struggling to believe 
uh, uh, that, 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 that I'm cared for. I'm struggling to believe that you truly have a purpose for me. I need you. I need you. I need you tonight. I need you tonight to be honest with God. I need you tonight to be honest with God. Be honest with him. Some of you know some men. Some of, some, some of the men will get back on here later. They don't like to truly show their face at times. But some of you are hiding behind pornography. Some of you are hiding behind sex. You use your penis as a weapon. Because you feel out of control of your life. And every time you get the chance to have sex. You use that as an opportunity to assert your control. Because you feel out of control in every other area of your life. You don't know what it truly means to be a man. Because you've convinced yourself that you want that that, that 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 being a man is sex, being a man is the physical, and you don't know how to open up about emotions. You don't know how to open up about your past hurt. You don't know how to open up the fact uh, about the fact that you don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to open up about the fact that you that you were never you were never truly given a hug by your father. You don't know. Ooh, some of us, we, 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 some of us men. We're afraid to open up. We're hiding behind the fact that, that that females love us or that we have a good job or we got nice tennis shoes. But what we really need to truly address is the fact that we feel like we're not loved because daddy wasn't there. We're hiding behind the fact that that, that part of us, oh Lord, part of, part of us, part of us have, has ruined our lives smoking so much weed. The aspirations that we had to to, the, to, to, to become something uh, ha, has been dampered because of what we have done to our own bodies and we're hiding behind of it uh, or behind it rather and we're saying that at least I have this at least I have that patching up fig leaves as the scripture says sewing fig leaves together as an apron to cover your nakedness when truly you need to be naked in front of God and let him cover you Open up yourself. Open up yourself. Open up yourself. Open up yourself tonight. Open up yourself tonight. And say, I, I, I am going to come out of hiding. I am coming out of hiding. Those things that are truly in my heart that's hidden. My hidden struggles. My hidden failures. My hidden fears. I'm coming out of hiding and I realized today that God's plan for me was better the whole time. I know after they ate, after they ate and their eyes were open and they, they realized they were naked, immediately shame came on them. And watch this, God came to them and said, uh, who told you you were naked? Some of you, you're coming into the fact that you truly, you truly, truly had some shame. Shame is an indication. Shame is an indication that you have eaten off of a tree that you weren't supposed to eat. Who am I talking to that is ashamed of where they have been? Who am I talking to that is ashamed of what God has brought them out of? You don't need to be ashamed. God is telling you to, that that shame, you don't have to wear that shame anymore. Your healing isn't going to come from you hiding. You're gonna have to, oh she uh, knows, uh, you're gonna have to get naked. You're gonna not physically, spiritually, you're gonna have to get naked. You're gonna have to stop making so much lies up in your mind that you're starting to believe them. And truly start addressing the fact that you are hurt, hurt at that man that left you. Oh God. Hurt that your daddy never called you beautiful. There's some things that you are hurt about. Hurt that you gave your body to so many men and they didn't love you and they, they didn't, my God have mercy, they didn't truly love you. And now as a result, you're hiding behind uh, the fact that you, you say stuff like I put it on them. They'll never forget about me. They'll never forget about my name. Hiding behind the fact that you were upset that you gave your body to individuals who didn't deserve it. Upset. That you didn't do things God's way. Upset that you did it your way. And it didn't turn out the way that you thought it would turn out. Upset. My God today. Who am 
I talking to that did things their way and thought that it would end up a certain way? But you realize, you realize after all this time, I did these things my way. And it did not yield me the result that I thought it would yield me. Oh my God. I can see Adam and Eve eating the tree. Eating from the tree. Not realizing before they ate because the Bible says they thought that it would make them wise. Not realizing that eating from this would lead me to shame. Oh God. Some of you, some of you, your, your past, your past, some of you, your past has led you to shame. It's not God's fault that you're broke. You mishandled your money. You wanted to splurge. You wanted to do what you wanted to do. You thought the wisdom that you had was better than the wisdom of God when he told you to save up. And you experience now catastrophe. You experience scarcity and famine. The world is in a famine right now. And, 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 and instead of truly, 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 truly uh, 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 saying, you know what? I did this wrong. And Lord, I need your help. They're hiding behind stimulus checks. Hiding behind child support. Now you got to put him on child support to get some money because uh, 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 you feel like that's your meal ticket. God wants us to come out of hiding. Even the political world. Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming down straight street. For some of these individuals. Who God, God, God is, 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 is putting on their, on their neck. His foot on their neck. To handle the racist injustices that has happened in America. You can't hide. You cannot hide behind, my God, a few stimulus checks. You cannot hide behind erasing a few debts. The racist injustices of America is coming to a close. God is exposing the racism. God, God is exposing the slavery, the, the slave mentality that these individuals still have as a system. God is exposing the fact that there are large amounts of uh, uh, Caucasian individuals in Congress. Ma majority white. God is busting up stuff. Break it. My God have mercy. Come out of hiding and admit that you were wrong. Stop trying to, in a, in a sly way, in, in a very uh, 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 secretive way, trying their best to give reparations by saying, well, we'll release this from your debt. We'll release this from your debt. We'll take care of, 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 of your school bills. Or we're changing the credit system so that it doesn't report your 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 bills, your medical bills, and, and all of those things, and we'll give you a few extra dollars which they truly don't desire to give. They're trying to hide behind a system of racism that has been built, but oh come out of hiding. Come out of hiding. Whether there's a lot of people on here tonight. That can speak truth to power doesn't matter. It's in the atmosphere. And as a prophet of God, as I say it and it goes into the atmosphere, it yields fruit. I don't know uh, uh, those of you I had reposted on my page. Uh, 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 I think it was May 4th when I prophetically declared about Roe v. Wade. And how it was the bill would pass and that the church would need to take control of those babies that will be born into poverty and make sure that the families have money. We're, we're trying to say that we should not kill, and I agree. But help them, give them a remedy. Prophetically declared it. And look now, it has happened. It has happened. And I'm prophetically declaring to you that the plagues is not finished yet in America. 
The plagues are not yet finished in America. God is sending more plagues to the political, oh my God, to the political arena. Just like he did for Pharaoh to let God's people go. There is an undergoing of great plagues on America for the, the my God, for them to come out of hiding and realize that they were truly wrong. You mark my word as a prophet of God. Reparations won't just be talked about. But God is busting up some stuff and there will be opportunities for the African man, African American man in America to stand up and the African American female to stand up. The opportunities will be given. Caucasians, whites will come out of the woodworks and, and watch this. Uh, I even hear rich people. Oh Lord. That's been born into wealth. That's going to walk up to black individuals and say, I would like for you to be an heir. Y'all think I'm lying. Wait till it happens. Walking up to families and giving them a hundred, a hundred million dollars. God is about to do something. It won't just be whites. It won't just be whites. It's going to be people like the man that was working at McDonald's for over 20 years. And instead of celebrating with him, uh, him with giving him a store, or celebrating him, making him a manager, they give him a, a few toys, a few collector's items and some food. But guess what God did? I don't know if y'all saw it. But as a result of, 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 of that being publicized, he has he has they have raised over over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that man as of today. They have raised over two hundred fifty thousand dollars for that man as of today. And I'm telling you. There is about to be a happening for the black man and the black woman. The political system, I, I prophesy as a justice prophet of God, just like my God, uh, John the Baptist was a justice prophet. He was a justice prophet. Jesus was a justice prophet. Jesus said, he said, uh, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me to preach, preach good tidings to the poor, to set at liberty those that are captive. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, I prophesy to you that God is uncovering those things. He's about to force people to come out of hiding. And this system of racism, this system of racism in the government is about, Lord have mercy, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. Where he's about to, he's about to uncover those things. You mark my word. But not only is he uncovering systems. He's, he's beckoning you today. He's beckoning you today. He's beckoning you today. He's beckoning you today. To come out of hiding. Your marijuana issue, come out of hiding. You know that you, you know that you're wrong, but because you got a few people that's willing to smoke around you, smoke some piff, smoke smoke some granddaddy, and smoke a few other things, because there's a whole lot. It's pineapple Kush now, and rainbow Kush. They got death out now. They got a number of other things. It's just a whole bunch of names. It's just it, it's it's so much to the point where you can you can and of course we know this. You can get it from the store. And they put their own labels on it. Alcohol. You're, cha you're chasing. Oh Lord. You're, you're, you're chasing. The fact that. Someone is in it with you. You're chasing the fact that someone is in it with you. And that's keeping you from feeling like you have to address your issue. But I'm telling you tonight, 
that person, you, that person that continues to lay in that bed with the person you're not married to. And you say, but he loved me, but she loved me. Come out of hiding. That person who has a bad attitude always ends up in fights because you, you don't know how to be careful with your words to respect others. Come out of hiding today. Admit that you are wrong. Admit that there's some things in my life that I got to address that I just got to get right. I can't repeat this cycle anymore. Adam and Eve in Genesis chapter three thought that they had a better way to do things. Thought they had a better way to do things. And decided to eat from the tree that God told them to stay away from. Right after they ate, the Bible says their eyes were opened. Being able to see good and evil. Don't you know we were only initially able to see good? Don't you know that God's intention for you is good only? But it is what we have done to ourselves in disobedience to God that has caused us to end up in the situations that we're in. And so instead of going to God and say, I'm naked, cover me, we hide ourselves. We hide ourselves. They decided to try and hide themselves. And the Bible says God came to them. The voice of God walking in the cool of the garden. He says, who told you you were naked? Who told you? Who told you you were naked? Who told you you were naked? Who told you that your perspective should be on things of the flesh? Oh, God. And now, as a result of as a result of the fall, I don't care if I'm broken. I don't care if I'm ready to commit suicide. As long as I got a degree, as long as I got a house, as long as I got a car, I don't truly have to be healed. That's what this society has come to. That's what this culture has come to. I don't truly have to be healed. Come out of hiding today. Hiding behind the job. Hiding behind the family. Some of you are have even uh, and are even hiding behind your failures. How do you hide behind your failures? Well, I'm never going to try that again because, you know, that's just not for me. I did this one time and it didn't work for me, so I'm not doing it again. Instead of saying, you know, I'm hurt from this. And, and God, I still want a man, but. But I did it my way last time and it didn't work out. Oh, Lord God. I handled my money my way last time and it didn't work out. I handled my daughter. I handled my, my son the way that I wanted to the last time and it didn't work out. Teach me how to be what you intended for me to be. Cover me, Lord. Cover me. Because me attempting to cover myself, it hasn't worked I still go to bed crying. I still go to bed hurting. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you today. Come out of come out of hiding. Come out of hiding. I don't care. If you take a moment to go in the bathroom or I don't care if you take a moment to kneel down on your knees when you're at your bedside this morning I mean, or this, this evening, 
But whatever you do, I need you to open up to God about truly where you are. Somebody need to open up and say, Lord, I'm addicted to frustration. I'm addicted to failure. I'm addicted to excuses. I'm addicted to slowfulness. I'm addicted to anger. I did this to myself. I ate of it and I allowed it to consume me. I'm addicted to greed. I pray tonight as I go, you would open up to God about where you are. Truly tell him where you are. And I'm not talking about asking him for stuff. I'm talking about how ugly you see yourself. Watch this in the scripture. After they ate, they became unsatisfied with themselves. Unsatisfied to the point that, 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 that they had to put something on them to make them feel satisfied. They were in God's presence naked a long time ago. God is not looking for you to be perfect. He's looking for you to be honest and open. Open. 